Hello, Hope Church kids. Welcome back. I hope you had a really good week. And let's jump into the story today. So grab your Bibles. And if you don't have a Bible, you can contact Hope Church and we can get you one. So this story is Exodus 32 and 34, the golden calf. Moses and the Israelites were in the wilderness. God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and he helped them escape the angry Pharaoh and his army. The Israelites set up camp in front of a mountain called Mount, do you guys remember? Mount Sinai. Moses went up the mountain and God talked to him. God had a lot to tell Moses, and Moses was up on the mountain for a long time. The Israelites at the bottom of the mountain were tired of waiting. <laughs> Where is Moses? What is taking him so long? They wondered. The people went to talk to Aaron, Moses' brother. We need a God to lead us because we do not know what happened to Moses. They said, so Aaron used gold to make a statue of a calf for them to worship. Can you believe that, guys? God delivered them from Egypt. They saw the miracles he did. And now they're going to worship a gold statue that was built by man's hands. Doesn't make sense. They're so forgetful. So that's why we need to read our Bible and pray every day so that we are not like them and we don't forget. Because it's pretty easy to make mistakes, right? Everyone is human. But God saw what the people were doing and he was angry because of their sin. God told Moses to go down the mountain. Moses rushed down the mountain carrying two stone tablets that God had written on. What was written on them? The Ten Commandments. He got closer to the camp and saw the people dancing in front of the gold calf, worshiping it. Moses was so mad, he threw down the stone tablets, smashing them at the bottom of the mountain. Then he destroyed the gold calf. What were you thinking? Moses asked his brother. The next day, Moses said, I will go up to the Lord. Maybe I can do something so God will forgive you. Then Moses went back up the mountain to talk to God. Please forgive these people, Moses said to God. God said, when it is time to punish them, I will punish them for their sin. God gave Moses more laws and instructions. God made two more stone tablets because Moses broke the first two. God said to Moses, the Lord cares about his people. He is good to them, but he will punish the guilty. Moses bowed down and worshiped God. Lord, please go with us, he said. Forgive our sin and accept us as your people. God's people disobeyed God, and Moses asked God to forgive them. Moses talked to God for the people. When we sin, Jesus talks to God for us. Jesus never sinned. God forgives those who trust in him. And do you guys remember the Bible verse for this month? Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. 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 Then again, I say rejoice. 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 And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. I'd really like to see how you guys memorize Bible verses. I hope you do. When you are scared or in a new situation or mad, you can remember those Bible verses and they will give you peace. So that's why it's nice to memorize them. And we will now do our craft with Jill. Well, first our music video, and then our craft with Jill. So I hope you guys have a really good week. It looks like it's gonna be rainy this week or snowy. I wonder what you guys will do if you like playing in the snow and the rain with your rain boots on or just staying in the warm house. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a really good week.
Daddy and Kirk. Daddy and Kirk. Well, I'm I not am a special helper, just Daddy. Oh, I'm just a special helper. Well, I am Kirk and Jane's daddy, and today I am helping because today is Mother's Day, and our craft is for our moms. So that is why I am helping today instead of Miss Jill. So you want you to go ahead and get your craft kit out. Go ahead and get your bag that looks like this. And inside, you're gonna find a few things. But Kirk, show them what they what you made last week that we need this week. Clay. Yeah, remember the clay you made last week and you, you yeah, put you car some me. words and you put and a hole? Empty. That's right. So go ahead and get your piece of clay and like Jane is holding up. You need to find the paint that we gave you in last month's craft kit, okay? So you can use paint, or if you don't have any paint left from last month's craft kit, you can also just use some regular markers, okay? So you need to get your clay, the paint, and if you do the paint, you need a little bowl of water to help with that. So we have our little bowl of water. We have our wax paper laid down so the paint stays on that. We've got paper towels in case we make a little bit of a mess. You also will find in your craft kit a piece of ribbon. Just a small little piece of ribbon. It might be different colors, but we're going to use this at the end. And the other thing, we're making two things today. The other thing you'll need is this envelope that has a card and some stickers. Because guess what? We're making our Mother's Day a uh, uh, clay ornament, and we're gonna make mom a card. Okay, so you need to get this out mom as well. Mom a card! So, go ahead and get your supplies out, and Kirk and Jane are gonna start decorating theirs while you decorate yours. Wow, you guys are super fast. How do you move so fast whenever you're coloring and painting? I have no idea. It's like you have was, super turbo speed or something. But I was moving slow. Uh, well, on the video it may look fast. Well, I'm gonna show you here is Kirk. You wanna hold that up so everyone can see what you made? So, um, so where well, we did the design, don't paint that. Like I did, don't paint the design. Well, it's okay if you if you did. It'll just show up a little bit differently than Kirk's did. And they use paint, but you can also use regular markers. And Kirk, hold up the card that you made for Mom as well. Kirk decorated a card, and he went ahead and put a little is that a snail sticker. Is that is it turbo snail? Looks like him, doesn't it? So he decorated the card inside, and Jane's still working on her card. She's almost done. So now the next thing we have to do to finish this up is we need to get the ribbon. All right, you can put the card down. We got the piece of ribbon and. There is a, uh, you left a, you made a hole with a straw last week in the clay. So that way we can put the ribbon through and want to tie it. That way mom can hang it on something. She can even like make a necklace out of it or can something. I sure can. And you know, this might be a little bit tough for you to do. So maybe get your dad to help you tie the string through. So all you do is you put it through the hole. And then once you get it through like a little bit like this, and you just tie it off. Just and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it so there's a little bit of a loop so she can hang it on something. Or if she wants to put another piece of ribbon through it and make it long, she can do that as well. Alright, here we go. Look, it's all done. So here is Kirk's completed Mother's Day ornament. And so on Mother's Day, Kirk, you're gonna hand mommy that and a card. And you want to give her a big hug, aren't you? Well, make sure you give your mom a really big hug and make sure she gets her card and her ornament. And we want to wish all of our moms a very happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.